Rich Bradford this week, uh, another chance for you to have a, have a look at the, the squad? Yeah, it is, and uh, we'll, we'll go with a, uh, a different view on it to what we did last week, Phil. Obviously, we went with a with a, uh, a, a stronger team as we could put out for that particular day, but we'll have a little bit more of a mix this week. Uh, we'll have a combination of uh, some experienced guys in there, uh, as well as some of the you know terrific young players that we've got. Uh, we'll probably look at uh, and not playing a, a number of us more experienced players. Uh, but again, I think we'll go with a you know with a with a fairly strong but exciting team, mate. And Jack Walker and Liam Sutcliffe, two players with long-term injuries. You're hoping to have them involved on Sunday? Yeah, they'll get some game time. We're looking to get at least 40 minutes out of them. So, uh, fingers crossed if everything goes uh, all right rest of the week, both of them will start. Liam will captain the team uh, if he gets through the rest of the week all right. So, yeah, it'd be fantastic to have them boys back. Um, obviously, with Jack, as we said before, it's like having a new player. Uh, and... You know, his pre-season's not been without some moments where uh, getting used to, to running on, his, on uh, you know, on his foot after you know, major operation and we've had some little issues um, around, you know, his, his calves and his hamstrings and the impact that, that I, I guess, learning to run again has, has had on uh, different areas of his legs. Uh, but we got through all that. I think he's looking really sharp in training and it's great to have him back. Uh, Liam... Uh, come back pretty much after Christmas. Been back in full training two or three weeks now. Uh, I'm, you know, really happy with Alien's has looked in training. You know, he's, as we know, he's a, he's a real class player, real natural footballer on the ball. Um, and again, you know, the timing for us of getting Liam back and uh, ready for the whole game next week and, and pressing for selection in round one. Yeah, he's a, he's a terrific player. And presumably with Jack in particular, given the length of time he's been off, that muscle memory of getting used to, to being tackled and, and tackling and all that sort of thing, a game like this is vital for him. Yeah, you forget what it's like to get be tackled as a full-back, bringing the ball back at a full line. Uh, yeah, it's, it's something you know, for Jack to get used to pretty quickly, I reckon. Uh, but no, there's, there's a lot of parts, especially as full-back, it's such, a, such an intricate role. And, and it's such a demanding role as well. Uh, you know, we're not expecting Jack to play in, in the same way as Richie Miley does. Jack's got his own style and uh, his own attributes and strengths. Uh, but again, getting used to where he needs to be defensively, when he needs to present himself in the line, positional play, uh, and getting used to playing play on play and attack. Um, yeah, it'd be, uh, it'd be good for him to get a game under his belt and, and get back in the swing of things. But look, Jack's 22 year old, he's got a lot of his career left in front of him. Uh, and we're really confident that, you know, given enough time, we'll, we'll get him back on track and, you know, realise the potential that, that we know he's had for a long time. And just looking at the rest of the squad forward-wise, it's, it, it's particularly starting like you're looking pretty strong there, given that the, it shows the strength of the squad as a whole. Yeah, our training numbers have been pretty good this week. Obviously, we had, we had some disappointment and a setback with Tom Allroyd after the Featherston game. Uh, Cameron Smith came through fairly unscathed, but Tom, yeah, a, bit, a little bit of a worst-case scenario for us, really. He's uh, a syndesmosis. He's got some separation in there, so uh, the decision has been uh, to get him operated on. Uh, the operation uh, is scheduled to play, take place next Tuesday. Um, you know, we're looking at a 12-week rehabilitation period before he can play again. Although we are pretty confident that if the surgery is successful, we, we can perhaps shave a week or two on that. So it's tough on Tommy. Um, he got an injury where he, he got a crack in his leg at, at, at pre-season time last year, which, uh, which affected him at the start of last season. Uh, so it's a disappointing one for him. You know, he'd been travelling great in pre-season. Uh, his first hit out and you know unfortunately for Tommy uh, it's going to set him back at the start of the season and, and you know we'll, we'll definitely miss him but again we're looking at maybe round six or round seven fingers crossed if all goes to plan uh, that we get him back so you know we've got to get him through and support him through this period and we know we'll get terrific medical care um, and hopefully we can get him back fighting fit for those early rounds. And the rest of your squad's looking, looking very healthy and, and, and getting ready for that for the season which is now you know, nearly 20 days away and, and, and really around the corner. Yeah, it's a gradual build-up for us. Um, hopefully we've timed us run all right. Obviously we've, we've got a big, uh, a big friendly again Hull in a couple of weeks' time for Tommy's testimonial. You know, what we know is, is Hull will always present uh, a very big physical challenge. So that'll be another uh, test and step in our preparation towards round one. But where we are at the moment, you know, we're... Uh, we're happy where we are. We know we've got improvement in us. We know uh, we've still got some combinations to build up and work on and, and 
keep working to get everybody on the same page. But but right now, Phil, you know we're pretty happy with where we're at, and uh, certainly in comparison to where we were 12 months ago with the uh, um, you know with the training numbers and injury issues that we had within our squad, uh, we're certainly in a different place this year. Uh, you mentioned Tom there. We'll certainly speak about him next week ahead of his game. But just just looking ahead to that, Tom, someone you've known since he, he's. Uh, his childhood days when you were coaching his uh, his dad, he's been a terrific servant to the game of rugby league uh, and very much deserves his testimony he's, he's, he's been awarded. Yeah, he has obviously, I, I have a plenty to do with Tommy, uh, you know, being friends with the family really from, from being a young kid, I, I've said this many times, uh, when we signed him on at All FC, we probably didn't envisage uh, that he would have such a such a rapid descent as what he had, you know, within, I think by the time he were 18, he played at Wembley and wore uh, you know, a real superstar of the game and, and getting picked for Great Britain to play again Australia. So when we signed him on, we knew he'd, he'd a chance to be a good player. But, you know, I'd be fibbing if I if I felt that, you know, his rise would be so meteoric as it was back then. I, I think Tommy's gone under the radar a bit. I think when you look back on his career, the wonderful moments, be it his try scoring record and exploits, playing for his country, uh, multiple titles and, and challenge cups. Uh, but he's done it in a in an unbelievable team you know so so quite often I think uh, the quality of his play and his exploits uh, have been overlooked but what I will say about Tommy is uh, the reason he's had such a, a long and fruitful career uh, has been his, his temperament and his attitude you know, he's, he's a wonderful professional that still to this day uh, looks after himself in impeccable fashion um, you know his temperament has, has very very rarely let him down over a, a long period of time and even though you know at 31 he, his physical attributes might, might be changing a little bit you know even recently he's reinvented himself uh, more as a centre rather than a winger but I think when you look back on Tom's career and if anybody ever puts a highlights package together I think some of that stuff in there is is something that young boys uh, can only dream about and I think throughout his career he's always been a role model to young players and you know an impeccable ambassador for the teams that he's played for and just finally richard a big birthday for you today uh, happy birthday from all thank the you very fans. much mate yeah thank you very much Being yeah on the training field is that your ideal way to spend a birthday uh yeah generally i, I think i've spent probably about 10 of my last 15 on training camps actually um so yeah rarely have i been in the country uh for too many birthdays but yeah birthday i'm getting to that point where i don't want to talk about them too often now yeah, 50 today and my next big one's 60, so that doesn't sound real good. <laughs>